hi guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to my channel so in this video today I'm gonna show you how I use aloe vera in three ways to grow my hair um, so if you're interested in this video please be sure to stick around if it's your first time on this channel my name is Vanessa and you're very welcome please I would love it if you could stick around by just hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any video when I upload in the future okay guys so the first way i use aloe vera is as a leave-in conditioner um so we're going to start by just washing the aloe vera first just to get rid of all the the dirt from it and then we're going to go ahead and uh, cut the stem uh, just like you're going to see here in a minute so i'm just removing that but we're not going to throw that away you'll see exactly what i'll do with this later on so i'm just cutting the rest of the aloe vera into smaller pieces then i'm going to go ahead and remove the sharp edges and um, yeah because we, we, we won't need that then i'm gonna go and cut through the middle of the aloe vera just so i can scoop out the um the actual flesh of the aloe vera You can see how juicy that aloe vera looks <laughs> so now i'm going to use a spoon and just scoop it out um so just be careful as you're doing this just because of the fact that it's kind of slippery so it's kind of it's really easy for it to just fall off um so yeah just scoop all the, all the gel out and um yeah so that's what you can see me doing there Now you're going to take a bowl and a sieve and we're going to put the flesh of the aloe vera into the sieve and I'm just going to massage it very gently with my fingers just so I can get all I also found that just letting it sit so once you've actually um, squashed it with your fingers if you let it sit for a few minutes the juice will definitely come through the bottom into the pot um, the pot <laughs> the um, container so I'm now pouring that into my spray bottle and I'll show you guys exactly how I apply this on my hair later on so make sure you stick around till the end of this video so that's ready now to be used as a leave-in conditioner now we're going to move on to the second part or the second way i use uh, aloe vera to grow my hair and the second way i use it essentially is to is as aloe vera oil so i'm going to show you how to make the oil now that stem we're not actually going to throw it away because it has quite a bit of the juice there still um so i don't like waste guys i don't know about you um i always want to make sure that i use most of the things that i i get so if it's not spoiled i'm not going to throw it away um so that part is still going to be very useful at um making the oil in uh, later on as you'll see in this in this part so i'm just cutting it into really small pieces um just like you can see there then we're going to transfer that into another bowl so i'm just showing you guys there um the the amount of of the aloe vera we're going to throw away so basically just like the byproduct of it so you can see it's not really much and that's the part that's necessary so some people actually struggle to store the aloe vera so um i just the best way to store it i've found is just to wrap it in foil paper like that and put it in the fridge and it will still remain fresh for you guys for weeks pretty much so yeah store it that way so we're going to transfer that into a bowl then i don't know if you guys can remember the skin of the aloe vera so the one we used earlier on so i'm not going to throw that skin away so i'm just cutting it into smaller pieces again and i'm going to cut it into squares the reason why i'm not throwing it away is because it's still got some of the it's still got some of the juice in it and also the skin has got some important vitamins that your hair definitely will still need so don't throw it away because you will need it now we're, i'm pouring in there some olive oil 
now olive oil is actually amazing for your hair guys oh literally so you can pour as much or as little as you want i'm not actually measuring it i'm just eyeballing it um so now i'm gonna add in my coconut oil coconut oil and olive oil are great for your hair guys so if you incorporate this into your hair regimen you will definitely see that hair growing so quick so you want to do that and then place the bowl in a pot with water in it and put it on fire now i've seen people who actually um make aloe vera oil by putting the oil directly in the pot now the problem with that is that you're oxidizing the nutrients in the oil so you're losing the value or the nutrients in the oil so it's always better to just put in a pot and do it this way because you're less likely to because you're able to retain the the nutrient or the value of the oil so i let it for about 30 minutes and i kept stirring and essentially you know it's done when the leaf of the aloe vera has turned from bright green to dark green that's how you know it's ready so i've let it cool down for a few minutes and then i'm just transferring it to a, a little container i'm going to show you guys how to use this uh, later on so be sure to stick around so that's basically what it looks like and it's definitely ready to be used trust me guys this is amazing for your hair um so yeah just put it into any container i'm using just one of my peanut butter containers because i didn't have one so the third way now is to use it as a dip conditioner oh this dip conditioner guys is the best oh literally i'll definitely definitely recommend you try this and come back and let me know what your experience is your hair is going to be extremely soft so anyway so we're starting here with one banana and then i'm adding in the aloe vera flesh again it has like the juice in it as well so now we're going to add in um half an avocado trust me this was enough for my hair and i have so much hair so you don't need so much of it it's better to make what you're going to need at that time so you don't actually have to store it because it will turn dark otherwise so i'm just cutting half an avocado in there so now we're going to go ahead and add honey i'm using the manuka honey but any honey will be absolutely fine honey is actually amazing for your hair guys i'm going to put the benefits of of all of these ingredients on the screen because it's kind of difficult to talk um, and still be able to give you guys all the information that you need so then we're going in with some extra virgin olive oil again now you probably can't see me doing that there properly but i'm adding a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and then we're going to add in some water just a little bit so not too much and you want to blend the whole mixture okay and yeah all this goodness is for your hair guys look at it it's so nice and smooth you want to blend until it's nice and smooth um because you don't want to have any lumps or any i don't know like anything stuck in your hair in the end so again stick around now i'm going to show you how to apply it look at that goodness so nice and smooth okay guys so i'm starting on fully washed hair so at this point i have washed my hair and also i've done an apple um, an apple cider vinegar rinse as well but you don't necessarily need an apple cider vinegar rinse but it's better to start on on nice nicely nicely washed hair or clean hair so i'm just applying that throughout my hair so you want to make sure that every single strand of hair is covered with the uh, mixture or the product so once you work that in nicely you now want to go ahead and twist that section i mean i always work in my on on my hair in sections um but if you don't work in sections you can just sort of apply it through uh throughout your hair depending on how you work on it but it's always better to work in sections because it's easier to manage so once you've done that you can now go ahead and twist it and then uh, work on the next section so i have actually fast forward the video and yeah i'm sort of working on my last part here so again just make sure that the hair is nice and covered and then um again you just want to go ahead and twist it
so once you've done that you now want to put in put on a, a heat cap uh, i haven't got one so i'm just using a um, plastic bag you let it sit for about 45 minutes then you can go and rinse it off now i'm showing you how i'm applying the uh, leave-in conditioner so at this point i have rinsed off my deep conditioner so i'm now sort of moisturizing and sealing in the moisture in my hair so i'm gonna i'm using that aloe vera gel that we made at the start of this video and that's basically how i'm applying it this uh my hair was at this point was actually damp so you can do it on wet hair as well if you want to but it's just easier when the hair is a little bit damp i, use, I think it's better and you're less likely to get breakage as well if your hair is not just totally wet so i'm just working the product through again so starting from the ends and working my way through you always want to focus on your ends guys because that's the driest part of your hair the oldest part of your hair so yeah so that's what we're doing there and now i'm using the aloe vera oil that we made earlier on to seal in the moisture and also to massage my scalp just like you can see the scalp massages are amazing to promote mm -hmm. hair growth because it increases the blood flow to your scalp guys and it provides your scalp with the nutrient that it needs so it's definitely important to always do scalp massages so once you, once i've done that i'm just combing my hair now so doing my final detangling uh process and then i'm gonna go ahead and twist that section and yeah and then repeat the same exact process on the next section until my hair is completely done so at this point your hair is washed your hair is deep conditioned and your hair is basically moisturized and sealed in so yeah you, you can definitely go ahead and style your hair however you want it now that deep conditioner trust me guys oh my god after i put it on my hair and i rinsed it off my hair just felt so soft like it never felt soft like that before like it's just amazing it, and it, it will definitely change your wash day routine like definitely trust me so you need to try this and let me know so i've done that and i'm just applying again my leave-in conditioner or the aloe vera gel over my ends and my edges as you can see i've lost quite a bit of my edges through postnatal shedding so i'm still trying to regrow them and yeah so far this has been helping a lot at sort of getting them edges back it's not perfect but we're definitely getting there so then after i've done that i'm going in again with my aloe vera oil just so uh ju just to seal in that moisture again so basically you can skip this process if you want to but it's something that i just love to do after i've finished my hair just to give it a bit more i don't know that a bit more of that tlc you know so yeah and at, at this point everything was nice and done my hair was so nice and soft and i also ended up with so much less breakage compared to when i didn't actually use the um that deep conditioner so it definitely works wonders so this is it for this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you watch till the end please be sure to hit that subscribe button it really encourages me to keep on going and yeah i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to thumbs up if you liked it and i'll catch you in my next video Thanks for watching. Bye now.